Hey everybody, welcome back to the second video on Snapshot 18W07B. In this video, we're going to be covering the new weapons and tools in the game, as well as new blocks. Very exciting stuff. So, to get started, we're going to be talking about the Trident. But before that, if you guys enjoy these Snapshot videos, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. So the Trident has been added to the game, and right now it's not actually in a survival Minecraft, but you can get it in the creative menu. So the base Trident itself um, has 1.1 attack speed and 9 attack damage, and it's a throwable item. So let's try to hit this pig here by right-clicking. Uh, as you can see, I've hit him, and then you can pick it back up. So let's see how many base attacks it's going to take to kill this pig. So it took two. Okay, fantastic. That wasn't too bad. So now, one thing you need to know about the trident is that there's actually four enchantments that go along with it. So the first one is Riptide, and it can go up to three. So Riptide basically makes you pull faster and throw faster. So as you can see, it was a much, much quicker pullback and a much faster throw. Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's it's so much faster. It's a, it's a very noticeable difference. Let's grab the regular trident here and we'll test it. So, regular trident and then Riptide 3. So much faster throwing. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about loyalty. Loyalty is probably my favorite enchantment of them all. We're going to switch to F5 here. So, loyalty basically puts it on a drawstring. Hold on. <laughs> so cool. So you can't really see it when I'm uh, in F5, but it's so freaking cool. Makes awesome noises, too. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other one. So you can see it throw, and then you see it come back. So this has some pretty cool special abilities to it, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So next up, let's talk about impaling. Impaling is actually for sea creatures, other than the uh, turtles. You can kill um, squids and uh, things like that. So let's get some night vision here and find ourselves a squiddy to kill over here. So we're going to do our impaling one on these. So typically with a regular trident, takes probably two hits, I would imagine. Two hits, yes. With impaling, Wow, really? Impaling 3 didn't do... Oh, no, it did kill it in one hit. Okay, I was about to say, wow. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. So now that makes me pretty curious. Look at all the floating items. <laughs> items are buoyant now, so... Anyways, uh, let's grab a mob spawner egg for a guardian. Yes, it would be up here. Guardian. So this is a guardian. Uh, what? Oh, it's on peaceful. I'm like, what? There we go. So impaling on a guardian. One hit. Miss. Two hits. Okay. So let's spawn another one with a basic, uh, basic one. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. Four hits. So this thing impaling is very awesome. Now, one of the cooler features um, of this is uh, this last one. It's called channeling. So when you throw this one, you notice how it didn't do anything? Well, if you do, uh, actually, I guess it would be under weather. And then we want rain. So we're going to set it to rain. Watch this. Very cool feature. It didn't do it that time. OK, it's supposed to spawn lightning. Didn't do it. That's weird. Interesting. I may not be doing it right. For I thought for certain that it would spawn lightning. I didn't think I would need to do anything else. It might need to be nighttime. Time set night. There we go. Let's try it one more time here. No, I can't get it to spawn the lightning this time. That's weird. I'm not sure what else it would do because I was watching videos on this and all they had to do was set it to rain for the lightning to spawn. But it's not doing anything. That's weird. Maybe it's just glitched out in this. What it's supposed to do is make charged creepers. But for some reason, it is not channeling the lightning. So that's pretty weird. So um, 
you'll have to take my word for it on that one. Um, the, so, so let's go ahead and talk about um, some of the other new items in the game. Um, so first off, let's go into the water because it's going to be much, much easier to do it from down here. So inside of the water, you're going to see all of these new grasses and the, these, um, these animations are very cool. So this is seagrass and uh, seagrass and I think kelp. I think this might be kelp. So let's go ahead and grab some shears. Shears. There we go. So you can actually shear these. And so that is kelp. And then this is seagrass. And sometimes it won't drop though. You gotta be gotta be pretty vigilant with it. Come on. Really doesn't want to drop, does it? Okay, so yeah, I mean it's not incredibly rare but it should be dropping that could be another glitch with the snapshot too let's try to break it with our hand and see what happens yeah it doesn't doesn't do anything different with our hand um let's try to break the block underneath of it maybe i didn't do anything either so maybe i'm just not uh i guess i suppose it probably could be game mode Okay, so it was game mode, or that I just had in terribly bad luck. Now nah, it was definitely game mode, so that's weird. Even though I'm using shears, I would I would have assumed that shears would have worked with that, to be honest with you. So you can get both of those by dropping. Um, there we go. You get both of those by dropping with shears. Sorry, my neighbor was like knocking on the wall. <laughs> um, so these have some pretty cool features. The grass, uh, once we, we had already talked about this, they can lure turtles uh, to you. So, as you can see. Now, the kelp can actually be used uh, in a kelp block, which is not actually used in the game yet. So, this kelp is actually eatable. So, uh, there's a few things you can do. First off, let's grab a furnace. There we go. So, if you were to put a furnace down, first off, the kelp can actually be uh, smelted. Right, so let's grab some wood. There we go, there we go. So kelp can be smelted and to dried kelp. And as you can see, that's right here. So this can actually be eaten as food when you are hungry. Now this has a pretty cool feature to it. So if we go back into uh, game mode survival, I don't like the new command system. You can eat this, and it's got a much faster eating speed than normal food does. Another cool thing about this is that it can be used as, one of these can be used as fuel. Um, put that in there, put that in there. I thought that could be used as fuel. You know what, it might be the kelp blocks that can be used as fuel. Creative, there we go. So let's grab kelp. So I'm learning just as much as you guys are. So yeah, the kelp blocks can be used as fuel um grab some cobblestone there we go so kelp can be used as fuel uh very awesome so kelp uh kelp and seagrass can both be generated from the ground now check this out this is a pretty cool feature so you could probably even make farms with this grab some bone meal and come down to the gravel or actually anywhere under the sea really now, seagrass and the tall seagrass can be spawned in with bone meal underground. You cannot spawn the kelp, though, so unfortunately, because I would imagine that's a food uh, that would be pretty, pretty overpowered if you could do that. I mean, obviously, you can do it with other foods, but so you can spawn the seagrass and the kelp underwater. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the newer items um, in the on the land side of things, and that is the wood. So let's clear this, let's put the game in peaceful, and we're gonna go into our inventory and grab some oak, and then so over here, let me grab an ax as well. So there are new items in the game called stripped logs. And so I can do this in creative mode. By right clicking, it's gonna take one durability off my item, and it's gonna give us this amazing texture. Look how cool that is, I love that. You can do this in survival too. These blocks uh, also do the same thing as wood and can be crafted into regular points just as normal. So for example, uh, over here is jungle. Let's go over here. And 
right, we'll go ahead and switch back into game mode survival. There we go. And so we should be able to do it right on this tree right here. Yeah, so as you can see, it takes the durability away. You can still mine it. You can still put it up here and make logs. There we go. That is by far one of my the, one of the coolest things I think about this. I love those textures. They're so good. So if we go into over here, so this is stripped oak, stripped spruce, birch, acacia, dark oak. So let's go ahead and place these down. And my night vision keeps running out. Hold on, get rid of that. I should have just gave myself the effect, to be honest with you. There we go. So these are what these look like. Very cool blocks. Very, very cool. I like these a lot. They are very awesome looking. So uh, that's stripped logs. And so as you guys have probably heard, there are some new stairs and slabs in the game as well. Everything to do with Prismarine. So Prismarine, they are crafted pretty much the same way you would think they would be crafted. And this is one of the cool times to show off one of the mechanics of underwater stuff as well. So these are what they look like. They do everything the stairs and slabs would do here. But I, I really like these, to be honest with you. They look pretty cool. Now, let's go underwater and show you some of the new water mechanic. So this is a stair underwater. What? That's awesome. Look at that. There's no ugly block anymore. That's crazy. I like that a lot. So very cool. So we're just about through all the new items, but there is one thing that I haven't talked about yet, and that is turtles. So we talked about turtles last time, and um, the turtles, when they babies turn into adult turtles, they actually drop the shoots, right, which can be crafted into this shell. Um, let me grab one real fast. I probably spelled that wrong. There we go. So we'll grab a stack of those and a crafting table. There we go. And so in here, just the helmet. Now this helmet has some very cool properties about it, guys. If you go into your survival menu bar here, put the helmet on, gives you infinite water breathing. How cool is that? That is the coolest thing ever. So if I were to want to go underwater, survival there we go so now we can just go straight underwater we're swimming and we can pretty much just chill do what we need to do and it just it's infinite it's gonna go down every time but it's just gonna refresh oh maybe it doesn't refresh i really thought it did but you can just re-equip it i would no you can't re-equip it okay so the information that i read about was wrong i thought that that was infinite so i apologize for that that's my mistake um but still, even 10 seconds of underwater is awesome. So this can be crafted. Now, there's another thing you can do that is real evil. This actually turns into a potion. So let's grab a brew stand. Uh, brew stand. Let's grab some water bottles. And some warts. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll make an awkward potion and put you in here put you in there and grab some blaze okay so put that in there now that's going to make us an awkward potion this helmet can actually be used um for a potion and the potion is like it's pure evil dude so i'm gonna actually just put the awkward potion back in there do that there we go so this potion uh is like I think it's called the Master of Turtles, and it is mean. So the first one is Slowness and Resistance, and they're both very high level fours. Uh, negative 60% speed. And then this one is Potion of the Turtle Master. This is like the second tier one. And then this is the... Uh, I don't know why that one would be like that. I guess that's the third tier one. So that made... Uh, this one. So I am assuming that under redstone, it would be that. Yeah, yeah. So you can use redstone. Not only can you make it into um, master, not only can you make it into potions, you can actually shoot arrows at people with this. That is amazing. So, all right, guys. So finally, one of the coolest features in this snapshot is this right here. So I've got this trident with a couple different enchantments on and it's gonna be very, very cool. So 
Right now, when I throw this, it doesn't really do much, right? I mean, it, it can throw, return, and if there's any mobs around here, we can kill the mobs, right? So, um, one of the coolest enchantments that is around, though, is called channeling. So, let's go ahead and switch back over to creative. Now, the creeper thing was broken. We couldn't get that to work. I, for the life of me, I couldn't get that to work. But, what we can do is this. So, trident, and then... Are these the enchantments for it? Let's go ahead and grab channeling. Channel. Okay, so there's channeling. So this one only works when it's raining, remember that. So, um, got that. And then I'm also gonna grab loyalty, so it returns. So, uh, grab you. So if you do weather, and then we do, hold on. I'm so used to the old command system. Weather rain, so it's raining. So now when you throw this, throw it up in the air, it should or not. It's still not working. That's weird. Now I could be using the wrong enchantment. That is true. So I'm going to grab Riptide just to be 100% certain. But what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to fling you. So let's just try and see how this works real fast. See if I had the wrong enchantment. So, Okay, so yeah. Um, when you use Riptide and, um, that was weird because I guess before it didn't work that way. Uh, when we were throwing it at the mobs before it never flung us. I guess that's only when it's raining. So let's test that just to be a hundred percent certain, right? Um, rather clear. So no more rain. So let's throw the trident now and see. So yeah. So when it's raining, that's when all of the cool stuff happens, right? So let's make it rain again. And weather rain. And so this time, when I throw it, I can start flying. Well, I have my elytra on before. If you have an elytra on, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab an elytra. Uh, elytra, there we go. Put that on our inventory. There we go, and then let's go ahead and switch over to game mode survival. Game mode survival, there we go. So we'll throw this again. It's kind of hard to get the hang of it, but once you get the hang of it, you should be fine. Throw it way up in the air this time. There we go. So it should come back into my inventory. So we've got to be a little bit careful about how we throw it, but that could be a problem, but it gives you such a crazy speed boost. Check this out. There we go. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's so much fun. So now we don't really need gunpowder rockets or anything like that to do that anymore. So there's one more thing I'm going to try because we couldn't get the creeper thing to work. I'm going to try it one more time and just see if I can get it. So you, you, oh, it's on peaceful. There we go. So now that it's raining, yeah, I, st I still can't get it to, um, no, I still can't get it to strike lightning. Do I, I'm, let me make sure I have channeling. Yeah, I've got channeling. I'm not sure. I guess that's just probably a broken feature right now. Um, but that Elytra feature is amazing. So anyways, guys, I really think that's probably going to do it for this second video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the new features of Minecraft. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out.